welcome to Knowledge is Power! Kasi after my class, I used to go to my garden para may visit o kaya I will do cultivate or i-remove yung mga weeds mula sa aking mga plants. Unfortunately, I was poked with this very sharp na thumbtacks at the sole of my foot. Oh my God! Ang sakit talaga! And damdam na ramdam ko talaga yung pagpapano ko siya bunutin mula doon. It is more painful kung how will I remove rather than nung naapakan ko siya. Oh my God! Ang sakit talaga guys! Promise! First, clean the wound with soap and running water. Put antiseptic and topical antibiotic if it is available. Cover it with bandage or band aid for it not to be exposed to dirt. Then proceed to emergency room as soon as possible. Bring my vaccine for my anti tetanus chakati AG for my punctured wound. Oy. Our topic for today is why is it important or necessary for you to be vaccinated with tetanus toxoid and tetanus immunoglobulin once you are poked with a sharp object or you have an open wound? Before we proceed to the importance of vaccination, let us know first what is tetanus. A tetanus is an infection caused by a bacteria called Clostridium tetani. When this bacteria invades the body via an open wound, they will produce a poison or a toxin that causes painful contraction. It is also called lockjaw. It often causes a person's neck or jaw muscles to lock, making it hard to open the mouth and swallow. Now, we have this so-called incubation period. What is incubation period? The time that you are exposed to this toxin until the illness will be present. So, the incubation period of this tetanus is usually 3 days to 21 days. No? Uh, the average of this is 10 days, no? depending on the kind of the wound. This is the microscopic picture of Clostridium tetani in a high power field. <laughs> 
the most common sign and symptoms of tetanus, I said it now a while ago, like the spasm and stiffness of the jaw muscle, the stiffness of the neck muscle, not only the neck muscle, but stiffness and spasm of the abdominal muscle also. And then there's a difficulty of swallowing. There is also painful body spasm lasting for several minutes and it's typically triggered by minor occurrences such as draft, loud noise, physical touch, and even light. But there are also other signs and symptoms or possible signs and symptoms to be considered such as fever because of the infection of course, sweating, jerking and staring, in an elevation of blood pressure and increase in heart rate. For your information, when you are young at the age of 2 months old, 4 months old, and 6 months old, you are already vaccinated with anti-tetanus together with diphtheria and pertussis. That is what we call the DPT. You received that already. 15 to 18 months, four to six years old and then a booster shot will be given at the age of 11 to 12 years old to follow the vaccine they received during the younger age people above the age of 19 years old should have received a booster shot every 10 years but in cases wherein you have this dirty wound or contaminated wound what are this gunshot wound, burn, or you are punctured or lacerated with a, a sharp object coming from the soil no, or manure likely to harbor this tetanus organism, then you need to be vaccinated every five years instead of ten years. These are the indications for the use of anti-tetanus immunoglobulin. Number one, those with tetanus prone dirty wounds such as crushing injuries. You are being punctured or lacerated with dirty rusty materials. You need this shot. Another one, for those patients with impaired immunity or immunocompromised patients such as the diabetic individuals and those who are infected with HIV, once you have this open wound, you need to be vaccinated with tetanus immunoglobulin also. There are also side effects to be noted, like pain on the injection site, which is the most common, redness and swelling at the injection site also, fever, headache, body ache, tiredness, and we also have nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Now let's proceed for the risk factors, the treatment, and prevention. For the risk factors, we have inadequate immunization. You did not take your booster shot. And then another one is presence of puncture wound. My wound ka, but you did not have your vaccination kasi you take it before and sabi mo, ah, okay na lang to because I took my vaccine before. And then simultaneous infection with another pathogen. You have another infection and yet you have another uh, wound na naman and then you did not take any vaccination. Untreated necrotic tissues and limited ischemia. Now, for the treatment, of course, you have to see your doctor. No, do not self-medicate. But the medications that I can give you, they'll give you antibiotics, uh, tetanus immunoglobulin, and of course, a muscle relaxant. Now, the easiest thing, prevention. For the prevention, immunization is the only prevention that we have this time. This tetanus toxoid is very effective with less side effect. No, it is a stable and inexpensive vaccine that can be given to all ages, even for pregnant women and immunocompromised individuals. If you have a situation like this, don't hesitate to go to the emergency room. Everything needed for the management and treatment of your open wound is readily available. Many of our kababayan are still afraid to go to the emergency room kasi daw baka mahawa sila ng COVID infection.
Please be reminded that the hospital is regulated by DOH with rules and regulations implemented and in place for everyone to be safe, not only the patients but all the employees too. Ito ngayon yung bagong procedure. Upon reaching the hospital, you will proceed to a triage area. Once you have a sign and symptoms of COVID infection, you will be placed in an appropriate area. Laboratory workup will be done together with a COVID-19 test. If you don't manifest sign and symptoms, just like in my case, I will go to the clean area of the emergency room, wherein I will be treated. So don't be afraid and don't think that you will get COVID in there. If it is needed, be there as early as possible, not when everything is too late. I hope that you learned something today because knowledge is power. Bye!